I thought about the nurses and all the successful women that follow this channel. I know I got nurse practitioners over here. Shout out to Bella Mommy. And this had uh this had come across my timeline. I'm gonna pull it up for y'all. So I'm gonna read it to you. Now, ladies, you know, whenever if you if you comment in live, I would love for you to comment live on it. Let me know what you think. But if you're watching the clipped out moment of it, which is now, uh, and that'll be uploaded later, then comment on this video comment right now you know what i'm saying because i would love to hear y'all thoughts and how was this conversation because i thought about y'all when i heard this when i read it <sighs> this woman wrote i make more than my husband do more of the housework do 80 percent of the child care pay all the bills and he doesn't see anything wrong with this how do i move forward Post goes on to say, I'm married. We have two kids. We have known each other for 15 years and we've been living together for about two. I make a lot more money than my husband. He brings in about 1000 K I'm sorry, about $1,000 per week, which, in, you know, that ain't bad. You know, that's pretty decent. A thousand a week. That's about for what? What's that? Four, four. That's about 40, almost 50 K a year. <clears throat> so that that ain't bad. But let's continue. Uh, he brings in about one k per week versus I bring in five. So she's bringing in five thousand per week. I pay all the bills. Bought us a house in the country on forty six acres because he wanted he wants to homestead while I'm more of a silly dweller. The house is beautiful and it's a fantastic investment, which is why I agree. Our children are in a good school district. Overall, a great arrangement for everyone involved but me. But I deal with it because everyone else is happy and I'm kind of neutral about it. I pay all the bills, which I guess makes sense because of the drastic difference in income. Now, I'm going to stop right there. Ladies, ladies, if you made more than your man, right? Do you expect him? Just let me know. Ladies, if you made more than your man, are you expected? Do you want to pay majority of the bills? I'm curious. No judgment here. I just want to know. Shout out to Coretta Live. Shout out to Sherry. I would love to get you ladies input on this. You know what I'm saying? So I stopped at that point. I'm going to keep going. But ladies, if you made more than your man, would you pay more of the bills? Let me know in the comments, please. So she said, yeah, I pay all the bills, which I guess makes sense because of the drastic difference in income. I work 30 to 35 hours per week while husband works like 25 hours. This woman works 30 to 35 hours a week, bringing in 5K a week. 5K a week. I don't know what she does. I don't know what she does for a career or not. But, you know, I thought of the ladies on this channel. And, I, you know, and I just wanted to see what y'all thought. Sister on a mission said no. Uh, sexy toy lady said yes, I would. Coretta said no, I'm not doing it. I also would not marry someone earning less than me. Woo! Now we cooking. Now we cooking on the Sunday morning. You feel me? Now we cooking on a Sunday morning. Please make sure y'all hit that like button on the way in and on the way out. I would definitely appreciate that. Ladies, are y'all feeling this? Are y'all feeling this? How, you know, these little scenarios I'm bringing up, these are actual people writing these scenarios. And I, and I was going, and it's enough of them. And I was going to start bringing them up and getting y'all topics. If y'all feeling this, let me know. I'll keep doing it. I appreciate y'all interaction with this. All right. It says, I pay all the bills, which I guess makes sense because of the drastic difference in income. I work 30 to 35 hours a week while husband works like 25. I do. This is what she says she does. She says, I do all the dishes. I do the laundry. I do the kids routine in the evening. He argues that he maintains the outside, which is his share. But it requires like maybe three to six hours every two weeks versus me. I'm moving, doing the housework and stuff from 7 a.m. to 8 or 9 p.m. 
I'm exhausted. That's what she's saying. I'm exhausted. His family has very traditional values. And dad was a breadwinner. And mom stayed home and did everything. But that is not our situation. He refuses. Now, this is what's tripping me out. This is the part that's about to trip me out. <laughs> this is what's about to trip me out. He refuses to stay home with the kids because he doesn't want to, despite a nanny slash child care costing more than his income. So the man don't even want to stay home with his own children, even though to get child care will be more than his income. I'm telling you, y'all going to get enough of these house husbands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, they always regret it in the end because women don't date down, they date up. And the most successful they become, they tend to want somebody on that level or higher. I didn't write this. This came from a group. Okay, so he refuses to stay home with the kiddos because he doesn't want to, despite a nanny slash child care costing more than his income. He won't meet me in the middle. He always finds a way to manipulate the situation in his favor. I've given up so much for my family, put their wants and needs first, and no one checks on me. No one helped me. I just want to take the kids and move back to the city. I know I need to put myself first, but it's really hard when I'm a people pleaser. My husband, no, my husband has now randomly started doing church stuff numerous times per week without me drowning. Well, no, she said my husband has started doing church stuff numerous times per week while I'm drowning at home. I'm an atheist. <laughs> what? Any advice for fixing this without destroying my marriage? Okay. Okay. Now, ladies. Y'all y'all have uh heard okay, so that was it. That was it. So if y'all were in her position, would you stay in the marriage? Is it one of those for better or for worse things? Is this a storm that you continue to ride through? How do you fix a situation like this when you have a man who's stuck in his ways? Because again. It's no motive. It's not enough motivation in the world, ladies, that's going to get a dude from being average to above average. You can't bring that out of him. He has to want that within himself. It's nothing that you can do. If he don't want to be great on his own without you, there is nothing you can do to bring that out of him. I don't care how beautiful you are. I don't care how good you cook. I don't care how good you make love to him. I don't care about none of that. If he does not want to be great or if he does not want to go above and beyond, there's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. At all. So. I'm assuming this man is in good health. He he works outside. It doesn't seem like this man has any chronic ailments, any disabilities that's preventing him from contributing more to his household. That's preventing him from taking care of his children. But my question is, this man didn't just become like that. He did not just become like that. What would possess you to even deal with a dude like that? And you a woman that's making 5K. Not saying that that really matters to dudes. Because for the most part, it doesn't. But you knew the type of dude you wanted. 